Hello and welcome to the This Is Xbox YouTube channel. My name's Greg Giddens and I thought I'd show you very quickly what the new dashboard looks like. We were lucky enough to have a look thanks to the preview program and uh, we're just going to give you a quick tour. So this is the main screen that you'll, uh, you'll see when you load up the console, the home screen. At the top right it now has the time and the charge of your battery for the controller which is very handy then on the main screen you've got the most recently used app or game with some advertising on the right hand side one below you've got additional apps and games that you've played recently as well as a very useful video which shows you some of the new shortcuts that you can now find on your controller then right at the bottom you have your pinned apps and games but press the left trigger and that will take you straight to the top press the right straight to the bottom very quick very easy to the right we have the community section which is the same as the section from the friends list which shows your friends and followers recent achievements uploaded videos and screenshots some of these don't show who uploaded them whilst others do so I'm sure that's something Microsoft will work on also the trending on Xbox Live link takes you to your profile so that's probably going to need looking at as well press right again and we have the one guide as well as additional apps for TV and film right again and we have the store with your usual apps movies and TV and music subsections beyond games and you can scroll down and see new releases and top rated like with the previous store and if we go back to home and then press left we have the uh, additional menus here you have your profile right at the top from here as you can see some of the fonts aren't quite working yet but uh, hey it's uh, it's preview so you have your info for your gamertag as well as your feed of achievements and uh, screenshots and uploads things like that positioning uh, I'm not sure about this at the moment this might be something they might add to but it seems a bit odd then you have achievements which shows you your uh, entire list of games played and the achievements related to them this is much faster than it used to be which is great uh, we have encountered the odd slowdown but it's nothing in comparison to what we had previously and finally the following and followers section as well if you jump out of there you'll go back into the left menu so you have your friends party chat, messages, notifications, and settings. And then right at the bottom here, you also have a snap center to snap apps and, and the like. You can also get to that menu when in-game by double pressing the Xbox button. And once you do that as well, you'll also notice at the top there's a screenshot and video recording buttons. So if you don't have the connect, then you can still do those things with a quick press of a button. It's great. So, so far, yeah, I'm liking it. It, uh, it looks great. It has most of the functionality of the old dashboard. I miss the comparison of achievements earned in the last 30 days against your friends and followers. I enjoyed that. It was a nice little competitive thing to have. So I'm hoping that comes back. That will probably go in the community section if it does come back. But otherwise, this is, a, this is a neat update, and this should roll out very shortly. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, check out some of our other videos, and hopefully we'll be a bit more active on this channel in the future.